Stickers! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play. Ace Attorney Investigations, and my name's Skinny Mini. I don't even know if that, could, that should count. <laughs> and I'm Pharaoh! <laughs> oh my god. Last episode, um, we used Little Thief to find the, the differences between um, the, before the fire and then after the fire. So we got more information from Gumshoe and Polino, and uh, we found out that the embassy is actually um, bi bilateral symmetrical? Yes, bilaterally symmetrical. Bilaterally Bilaterally, bilaterally symmetrical, yes. Oh, oh no, my pronunciation is just rubbing off onto you. Oh no! Ah. 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 Words are hard. Yes, they are. <sighs> anyway, um, so yeah, now we're in the uh, fireplace, and there's actually something that should be here that is not here, which I believe is. Let me check the, uh, the, the evidence. Um. I think it's supposed to be Ambassador Polano, because he said they uh, were burning files in the fireplace and there should be ashes there still, technically. So I think that's what needs to be deduced with it. Uh, what was, I'm so sorry. I, uh, <laughs> what was that? You, you deduced what? Were you not paying attention? I'm, I, no, what? it's I, fine. I'm not going to be hurt. I really wasn't. I was checking <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's totally fine. It was just, it was really funny. You're like, um, so you, what? <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got to do some, uh, you, you mentioned what, the, uh, the ashes, right? Yes. Okay. So I just pressed deduce. Uh-huh. And you gotta read it. Oh no, wait, no, 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 no,
Ambassador Planoff said that he spilled some bubbly's ink while he was burning the files. And yet there's not a trace of the spilled ink on the back wall anywhere. Well then, I don't know what happened. Well, I'll tell you what happened. The two sides were switched. By using the revolving fireplace wall, the ashes were moved into the neighboring room. Which means that this is a clear indication that the fireplace was used. Huh. Huh. <laughs> then you mean the person I was chasing disappeared from this room through there? Yes, I believe the person you were in pursuit of is Mr. Cochin's killer. And after committing the murder, escaped through the fireplace. <sighs> but wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh huh. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. I need. I can't check logic. Okay, hold on. I, I have a theory. Just continue. Okay. Um. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth, you figured out the killer's escape route. I have, but this is only the beginning. Now we have to chase the killer down. Okay, I don't know if we have enough evidence to move on with this logic, or if we have to go back to the fireplace. But I'm thinking the person Kay was changing, ch sorry, chasing, used the fireplace to escape the room next door. But Shinna was in the room next to Mr. Cochin's office up until she tried to arrest Kay. She came out of the room as soon as uh, Kay started screaming. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I should connect those two or if we need to examine the fireplace first. <laughs> Um, I am so sorry. Uh, that was, uh, burp talk for do what you feel is right. Okay, I'm gonna do Sheena and escape through revolving fireplace. Okay. Connect. Good. Uh, wow. <laughs> if the killer used the fireplace in this room to escape into the next, then it's only logical for us to talk with the person who was in the neighboring room. Well, the person I was in the next room was... Oh! It was that person, sir! Yes, Detective. Agent Shinna. Oh... My... Gosh... Dun dun. I have a theory. <sighs> and I think it may be correct. It's more, it's looking more and more like Miss Shinna is the killer, isn't it? Let's not jump to conclusions yet. We need to go through what we what we know so far. She came running straight into this room for the next one and, and instantly accused you. Furthermore, she claimed that it can only have been you that killed Mr. Cochin. I don't have any proof yet, however, I know she's hiding something from us. Okay then, why don't we go ask Miss Shinna herself? No, not yet. Something that needs to be done first. Detective Gumshoe? Sir, is it my turn to do something, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> yes, I have a two-part special assignment for you. First, I need you to run a handwriting analysis on the Master Seconds note. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll get the lab boys on that right away. Second, I want you to see if you can fit through a revolving fireplace wall. Uh, right now, sir? No, next decade. Of course now! We need to test our hypothesis first, don't we? Go on, Gummy, you can do it! Uh, Alright! I'm gonna do this like a real man! Here I go! To the fireplace and back! You shouldn't need to psych yourself up that much for such a simple task, Detective. It looks really small. Wow! The inside of the fireplace really did turn! That's so neat! Now I want to try going through there, too! There really is a secret fire passageway through there! I had no idea! Hmm. It appeared that the ash really was pushed into the other room. Furthermore, the bottom of these ink you spilled the bastard is there on the back wall. Okay, here I go, sir! Hold it. Detective, I'd like you to go through there under the same conditions as the killer. Huh? But all but there's all, all that ash and stuff. <laughs> and your point to ease? Now, we're short of time, so if you could please hurry on through. No. Yes, sir. Okay, 
So now we pretty much have the whole picture, right? No, not yet. There remains a few more mysteries to solve, such as the Argolas' whereabouts, the other smuggling ring members, the two weapons I made across the border, the key to Miss Yu so seven years ago. In fact, we haven't figured out a thing regarding how, about how Miss Yu is related to, all, to these embassies. I do. I think I might. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. A number of pieces connect in a very complicated way in this case. It's almost enough to make one completely mentally... Make one completely mentally exhausted. What are you saying, Mr. Edgeworth? I thought you were the one who said it's easy if you follow the leads. Hmm. Well, is that supposed to be an impression of me, Kay? If it's info gathering you need, Gummy and I can help with that. Then all you have to do is show off your fancy schmancy logical deductions. Show off? Does it seem like I'm being boastful when I do it? Yes. Let's not overcomplicate matters, okay, Mr. Edgeworth? We've been so focused like a laser on only what seems strange and out of place. It's no wonder nothing's clicked and we never and we haven't unlocked anything yet. But if we think things through calmly, the answer should come to us. Okay. That's the sort of thing I say to myself when I'm practicing how to unlock padlocks, you know? That is something that I, I hope practice doesn't make perfect for your sake. <laughs> Yay! Looks like you're back to your straight-laced self again! Hey, Miss Edgeworth! I'm back, sir! Yes, I can see that. Good work, detective. <laughs> Looks like you can use that fireplace like a door, sir. Are you alright, Gummy? Uh, I'm okay. It's been a, uh, a bit of ash and dust, that's all. Your jacket has gotten quite filthy. I can see the hem most practically turned black. Yeah, well, quite a bit of unbur uh, unburnt ink got on it, sir. Hmm, I see. Oh, thank you, detective. You did a fine job. I even paid a cleaning girl for the trench coat. Oh, that's what? so nice, Edward. Oh. so nice. What? Oh, no, sir, I could never. This is just an old coat, sir. If it was a coat I actually cared about, then I'd get it clean, but, you know. I see. Very well, then, as you wish. Aw, that's so nice. Yeah. So, Gummy was able to climb through the fireplace. We know it can be used, right? Yes, but that's not all we learned. We actually learned a one other important fact. And that is... I'll have to explain it to you later. Right now, we need to deal with the handwriting analysis. Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir! I'll be back before you know it! The handwriting analysis in Mr. Coach's handwriting will take a bit of time. Let's go and wait in the theatrical neutralis, along with Agent Lang and Agent Shinna. Ah! Ah! It's only like 13 minutes in the video. Ooh, we could go a bit longer. Or we, okay, could, let, we, could be huh? but, we could be butts and just end the episode here. That's kind of jacked up. I didn't upload it all last week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Oh my god. See, guys, I am nicer than Pharaoh. <laughs> Don't give me... <laughs> Don't get me started right now. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, God. All right. Theatrum Neutralis. Why does that sound like a Harry Potter spell? <laughs> you just realized that? <laughs> yeah. Theatrum Neutralis. Ooh, this makes a movie appear. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, I got, I got my, my voice needs to, uh, recuperate. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's do this. Agent Lang. Lang Z says, little cubs, never do they know the real theory of elder wars. These quotes are definitely becoming increasingly difficult to decipher. But what does that mean? It means that you'll never really know how angry I can get. Mr. Prosecutor, the counterfeit bills made with bubbly zinc. They were all the zinc for de denominations. Yes, so I heard from Ms. Von Karma. 
But we don't know where the play money has gone. They must have not yet figured out that it is all burned yet. Ever since those things showed up in circulation, my country's economy has taken a big hit. Zink you thought- went, You went country on there for a second. My country's economy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, it was really funny. <laughs> Zank Plaza is in financial chaos as we speak. Because we can't tell the difference between our own bills and, our, and the fakes. But it's not just the money. The citizens are also worried. I stake the honor of the House of Lang, Lang on this. I have come to this land to capture the, the mastermind behind this whole mess. I investigate how the bills are made and how the ink was smuggled into Zank And I pursue this one ring all the way here. But tonight? This is where the final chapter is written. Despite my frantic efforts to chase the smuggler, smuggler down, someone got to him first. And now I'm called to return home without a single answer! Agent Lang, I... Don't start. It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault, Mr. Prosecutor. Mr. Elba, I'm sorry for all the trouble tonight. Uh... Could you... That was me. Yeah, please, could you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It is I who should apologize. It was all because I was not strong enough. If only I was able to think of a better solution. Qu Quirkus? Quirkus, you fool! Curse your empty brain! Heh, <laughs> you're being too hard on yourself, Ambassador. I take full responsibility for tonight. End of story. Shut up. Let's go. And return to our den. Yes. I don't like to admit it, but there's not much else for us to do but go home as well. Agent Lang, I something. You, Wolfman, uh, Secretary Lady, hold it. Objection, pal. Aww. Detective Gumshoe, have you got the results of the handwriting analysis already? Yep. And then nope. It's definitely written by Mr. Coaching, sir. Hmm. Just as I thought. Good work, Detective. Yay! Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. How long do you intend to hold up hold us up for? Hmm. Sorry to have made you wait, but I believe that now everyone is finally here. Agent hey, Shut Up, I'd like to ask you something, if you don't mind. Yes. <laughs> what? I don't, sorry, I was, I, it was like a weird burp that I had coming up, and I was like, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> How exactly did you f uh, fail to see the Yagarasu when you were in the neighboring room to where Mr. Kojin was killed? I'd like you to explain that to us. What? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, what are you doing, what are you doing asking her about something else she didn't see? Agent Lang hasn't touched the bubble ball investigation at all, so I suppose I will need to explain a few things to him first. Oh, that's me. Um, Miles Edgeworth, I can't even begin to imagine what's going on in that head of yours. Uh. Yeah, there you go. That was weird. I was like pressing, pressing the button. And I'm like, why isn't it advancing? Because he's doing that this super like pausing and head tapping thing. Oh. The only thing going on in my head is the pursuit of the truth. Oh? It sounds like you have some sort of plan. Very well. I'll supervise you until the end. <sighs> She's seriously going to treat me as a subordinate for the rest of the day. Yes. You're not trying to pick a fight with my subordinate on some flimsy guess, are you? Though I'm not trying to pick a fight and the evidence is hardly flimsy as you will see. Ha! <laughs> I should have known. But you and I are destined to fight it out to the very end. It would appear that way. Well, I'll prove her innocence. So let's see what you got, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Hmm. With pleasure. For my opening argument, I'll discuss the Algarasu that appeared in Babal, and establish exactly who it was that Kay saw. Agent Lang, I assume you've been briefed on Kay's testimony. You mean the suspicious person in the coat that she saw? 
That's right. The person is the key. Is one of the keys to solve in this case. The person pretended to be the Yagarasu. Pretended. And what do you mean by that? Well, I'll get to that in a second. But first, I would like to review what this person K saw and did. K, if you could please explain what the person you were chasing did for us. Okay, you got it. I first spotted the suspicious person near the open air stage on the Babali si side. I called out to the person, but as soon as I did, that person ran off. I thought it was rather suspicious, so I immediately gave chase. For the sake of argument, let's call the suspicious person the Aragarasu. Now, please tell us what happened when you chased the Aragarasu up to the third floor. Can do! I chased the Yadagarasu all the way up to the third floor of the Babalese Embassy. It was a pretty straight chase down the hallway until the sudden turn. The Yadagarasu disappeared around the corner, so I did my best to catch up. When I turned the corner, I saw the Yadagarasu run into Mr. Cochin's office. I gave chase and ran into the room. But when I entered the room, it was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. I felt something on the ground next to my foot, so I turned on the light, but then... I can't... Ah! I can't scream. Oh, good enough. Uh, and then Shina... Who's there? By the time I had turned on the lights, the Yanagarasu had disappeared. When Kay entered the room, the person she was chasing was already gone. Why do you suppose that was, Angel A? What do you mean, why do you suppose? Is it an obvious? The person slipped out through the door behind the girl under the cover of darkness. Objection! Sorry, but I know for a fact that the person didn't escape through that door. Oh? How do you know that with such certainty? <laughs> That's easy. If the Alagodas would have left through the door, they would have run right into this person. Oh, Gumshoe, because he was coming right after, um... Um, right after her scream. Was that Gumshoe or was it Shinna? Because Shinna said who's there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, it is Shinna. Right. That's weird because Gumshoe said it. He said if it wasn't for... Oh, that's right. He said if it wasn't for Shinna who got there first, mm -hmm. then... Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay. Take that! It, your answer is Shinna? Yes, because let's consider what you what what would have happened if the Yagarasu had used the door. When Kay screamed upon discovering Mr. Kochin's body, the Yagarasu would have run right into Agent Shinna, who was in the next room over. Ugh. Agent Shinna, would you mind telling us if you saw this person in question? No, I did not see anyone. You didn't. Therefore, the Yagarasu could not be okay then. It just means that the creep slipped out before Shinna made it out to the hallway. Hmm. I doubt that, as there was another person in that hallway. A certain detective. Detective, detective Gumshoe, where were you exactly at that time? Uh, me, sir? Well, uh, when I heard Kay scream... I ran, to, to, I ran towards Mr. Coach's office from the opposite direction of Agent Shinna, sir. So, Agent Lang, can you explain how someone could have eluded both of them? Even you, you, even you must concede that under these circumstances, the door was not a viable route. Go! Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth! You nailed them with just one explanation of what happened! Yes. I eliminated one of the possible uh, escape routes from that from that room. But this is far from over. I need to make Agent Lang aware as well. I've yet another possible escape route that Yagarasu could have taken. <laughs> I can't relax, really. I get it. So, <laughs> that's what you were trying to show me. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Let me guess. This is where you were trying to say, right? Because the door was not viable escape route, then there must have been another way out. Precisely. Hey, Miss Edgeworth, you sent a bus out with our revolving fireplace wall explanation, right? No, not not quite yet. 
Huh? But why? I thought this would be the perfect time. A revolving wall on the bubbly side is not only the four people. And if we use this information unwisely, the truth may escape us in the end. What's of all the whispering over there, huh? I have scared I'll figure out your tactics. Hm, nothing in the sword, Agent Lang. Come, let's continue where we left off. That smug, haughty attitude of yours. You really rubbed me the wrong way, you know that? Huh. Well, no matter. I figured you out already. The only other possible escape route besides the door is the room's lone window. And since an eerie picture of an aesthetic escape route exists, are you saying this photo captures a moment of Ryagoras' escape? I guess it's not bad once I fill him in on, on this photo. I have to admit that, though, so I thought the window to be a possible escape route as well. However, I know now that it's to be impossible. Now, I realize you may not know this, but... Humans can't fly! But, of course I know that! That's, that's bloody common sense! Besides, I never said I thought I thought it would be the Yagras' escape route. I suppose not. Alright then, explain yourself. The shadow in this photo is not the Yagrasu that Kay was chasing after. It's the code. You can say whatever you like in whatever language you want, but there's only one language I really understand. The language of evidence. Oh, very well then. I present to you proof that the person Kay saw is not the same as the one in the photo. Dun dun. What is it? Dun what dun. Is it? Dun dun. What is da, it? Da, 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 da. What is it? We'll find out in the next episode. How dare you? Ha 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 ha. Good job though. <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys. I think that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so very much for watching. And if no one, no one has told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody. All right, Pharaoh's gonna go take a nap. Bye. No. Nap time, Pharaoh. No. I don't wanna. Yes. Go take a nap. Uh, no. Do you wanna go on timeout? I mean, no. Then go take a nap. No. Okay. Bye.